See what happens when you overturn Roe versus Wade? Greco fabulous never shying away from controversy. It doesn't matter, nobody's watching anyways. Hey everybody, Greco fabulous here and welcome to another episode of Thrifting to Collect where I show you my many adventures hunting for things, not always toys and video games, but that will amount to money that will eventually become toys and video games, theoretically, or unless I find something else that gets me more views than I currently get, which shouldn't be that hard to do because if I were to run a seminar on how not to run a YouTube channel, I would do amazing. So let's check out this week's, and by this I don't mean like chronologically because I'm all over the place, but let me show you the footage that will represent a week worth of finds. Yeah, let's run with that. So they put that guy out, but it's all beat up. They've been on the inside and it's $75. Could be somebody else's project. All right, so let's see what wonderful, life-altering, pure nostalgic items that I picked up these past couple weeks. Uh, I got a mug. This is a rare moment in my recent YouTube history. I actually bought something that I am not going to resell. Because once we do the big reveal... Child world! Wow! Charlie! Dude, if you guys don't remember, Child World was a direct competitor to Toys R Us, Big Toy, and uh, they uh, ultimately succumbed to the pressures. Um, don't really know what ended up happening with them. Go watch a Toy Galaxy video for that. I was lucky enough to both have both Child World and Toys R Us. Child World and Toys R Us. I was lucky enough to have a speech impediment. I was lucky enough to have Toys R Us and Child World in the same exact town. So it was like a toy heaven for me. This was just, I don't shop the mug aisle. So the fact that I found this was pure divine intervention. Definitely a throwback and definitely something I'm gonna be keeping. Earthquake, that was a mini earthquake. Now, in addition to that, I also found some cool GoPro accessories. I got Chesty here which uh, is actually the literal name of this thing. I'm not being a misogynist. This is Chesty. And then you have the head strap right over here. So head strap, definitely don't need that. I'm not pulling the screwnicorn trick on anybody there. The f is the screwnicorn trick? The screwnicorn is when I stick a d on my forehead and f Marcy head first like a unicorn on amphetamines. This is more valuable, but this guy I might actually hang on to because uh, my cheap Chinese knockoff broke. So I might as well keep the official Chinese produced option because theoretically that's better So then the next day started off kind of poorly as well I picked up this ho-hum Mattel baseball thing hoping it was the thing from like the late 70s early 80s uh, But I was wrong. It's the uh, nostalgic reissue. Don't you just hate when companies feast on the nostalgia of others? It's the worst. There's a special place in hell for people like that. It's called YouTube. So that day was going nowhere until I started wasting some time striking up conversation with my fellow thrift shop goers. Uh, and then out from behind those hallowed back door walls came an employee with a bucket full of games. And from that secret stash I got Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS, Mario Party the Top 100, 
Farming Simulator 18, Mario Sports Superstars, Guitar Hero The Warriors of Rock, and a sealed copy of Star Wars Force Unleashed. Again, don't look past things by their titles. Always check the things are sealed because they might make a big old difference. But the real winner of this bunch, and it was me just following my gut, was I picked up not one, but two of these guys. I see it's Winnie the Pooh. Beloved character, American folklore. Please to be friends, why are you doing this, please? Then I look around, limited to 3,000 pieces and specifically made for semen, Siemens, excuse me. And I was like, I heard the cash registering and baby. Who would want this but a pediatrician's office? And I already threw one up online. It didn't have any sold comps. Threw it up there for 125, sold instantly. Now that was a great buy. Oh bother. And then for the end of that particular week, I, uh, I was actually having some phone trouble. I couldn't get cellular data to work on my phone for whatever reason. I am not an expert. I am just a guy with a phone with a uh, unlimited data plan. So that's why I am qualified to make these YouTube videos. You can be just like me if you're not a poor schmuck. So with that uh, kryptonite going on, I kind of had to play it by the hip. So there's some decisions I made that I wouldn't have uh, in hindsight, but you know, I also kind of did okay. This one I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Brian. He brought it to my attention. I barely look at the books, but he uncovered a whole stack of Teddy Ruxpin here. I'm not gonna name all of them, but just know that Teddy Ruxpin is my guy. I love him. He's on my shelf literally right there in the background. So here are a bunch of books. Um, I don't know if I have duplicates or what. I do not have the tapes to go with them, but of course I'm gonna pick these guys up and because uh, I don't pick up that many books and this means something to me. Grubby's Romance, who could like that little eight-legged freak? Oh, you have six? Oh, okay, that's fine. So, in addition to that, I also got some cool peripherals. I got the classic Wii controller, two white Xbox 360 controllers, a white Wiimote, and not seen here is a pink Princess Peach Wiimote because I had done sold that on whatnot. And then wrapping up that specific day in my uh, thrifting history, I picked up this random Crash Bandicoot little light up guy. That's all it is, it just lights up. Again, bought it on a whim. We'll see what happens with him. I was gifted this LCD Tiger Electronic of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A local buddy of mine that we first uh, connected at a yard sale. I believe he recognized me from YouTube. Uh, and then we've kind of been running into each other ever since then. He found some other ones, probably better, and he threw me the scraps. So uh, thanks, I guess. Uh, so I have that guy. And then to wrap that all up, I have 007 Bloodsport sealed. Again, I would not have picked this up otherwise, but Sealed was a very, very good pickup. And then this one was a mistake. This is what happens when you don't have a working cell phone. All right, so that's one week in the book. So let's wrap this up by seeing my next week's pickups. And then you can leave me alone for a little bit. All right, guys, a bunch of games just got donated or put out. A lot of duplicates in here, but they're all factory sealed. So let's check out some more computer parts. I'm a little iffy on. This guy's going back because it doesn't have a dongle, but pretty good. Pretty good. All right guys, last day at the thrift. Here's some things that caught my eye. Unfortunately, my phone is not cooperating. So it's my kryptonite. If I don't have access to the internet, I am useless. So uh, a bunch of these things are probably gonna go back. I got a little trick today. Luckily I didn't get tripped before I bought it, but got excited when I saw these, but then I noticed it does not have the X. So it means it's a knockoff. This thing's pretty cool, but does not have a remote control. And got some games in here, including this guy, which is sealed, so that could be pretty neat. So, yeah, I'll do some, uh, trust my judgment and see where it goes from there. Hey kids, I'm a computer! Stop all the downloading! 
Small, only pickup to start the week, but pretty good one. It's a Macintosh. MacBook Air 2015 edition had a higher price tag on the thrifting side of $35, but I brought it home, turned it on. It turned on, but it did not boot up. So using my Cerebrum Corbellum Cortex, I was able to determine that it just needed a new hard drive. So I bought that. I bought a cheaper one just to make sure that it worked. I had to make an OS boot up disc on a thumb drive. Like I did a lot of smart, like really just like Mensa stuff to get this thing going, but nice functional uh, MacBook laptop for 70 bucks. Look at me, I'm a professional. And then bang, bang, choo-choo train. I got a big pickup to end the week. Uh, as far as quantity goes, I finally found one of these Instax Mini 9 guys, but actually factory sealed. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with this one. This specific design is very out of the ordinary compared to the other ones that are out there. Um, so I think it might be a foreign variant. Uh, I don't mean variant like, oh my God, dollar signs. I just think that it was sold in like Japan versus the United States. On the inside, we're all the same, right? So hopefully the same stays true for these Instax cameras. The loose ones, I have a lot of luck selling very quickly. $20, $25 is like the sweet spot. We'll see how well I do with a sealed one. And I did pay up for it. So better be good. Then I took some chance on computer parts, which I'm not an expert in the area. I found this gaming keyboard, which I'm not showing you live right now in front of me because that gamble did pay off. Uh, I sold it pretty quickly. Everything worked. So be on the lookout for this specific brand if you can get it for a good deal because it seems to have a demand out there for it. But on top of that, I also bought this graphics card and this um, motherboard. Good, I remember what it was. I didn't, I don't have to re-edit that. For the price points and potentially sold comps, I'm taking a chance, we'll see. They've been sitting so far. All it takes is one person, one click of a button to make my day. Oh. All right, now lastly, we're gonna end our journey where it started. No, that's not true. We're not, <laughs> we don't have another child world mug. But back to my bread and butter, at least when it comes to thrifting, video games. So we reunited Snow White with the Little Mermaid here, another Tiger classic. So we got that going on and I picked up a few games. This day there was like a mess of sealed games, but I ended up putting most of them back because they were like FIFA soccer and farming simulator and things that like nobody cared about. These ones did have a little value sealed, so I ended up keeping them. As you can see, Rage 2, Border uh, Borderlands, the Handsome Collection, Doom, which I thought was a pretty good one, and this double pack of Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition and Rage for the Xbox 360. So I believe that's all she wrote for the past couple weeks that I wanted to squeeze into this video. Um, there were a few things that I either misplaced, but hopefully I did a decent job during editing to kind of show you the wider picture so you know exactly what I came away with. And uh, I don't know, I think there's a lot of potential here. I think I'm up on a lot of these things or I got some cool things to keep, which is rare and nice and pretty awesome. It makes me feel really good inside. Feel better if I had this guy's number of subscribers though, huh? Why am I giving him free publicity? Just because he's giving me a place to stay during Retropalooza? Ah, oh, gotta save that for the channel update. But you guys that are gonna be in Texas in a couple weeks are in for a treat. Oh, yeah, this is why I never had a girlfriend. All right, so that's my life and I'm sticking to it. It's not gonna get better, so Keep watching or don't, doesn't matter to me. Bye.